In continuing with our flicking and venting registral topic, we want to discuss not only the A flick key, but we have the B, B flat, B, and C flick key, which is directly above the A, and then we have the D key, all right, which we use to flick D above the bass clef staff. So this next exercise incorporates half hole as well as flicking to the B flat above the staff. I'll give you a couple of different angles for this exercise so you can see the flick happening in the back, but also so that you can see the half hole in front of the bassoon, okay? So we're looking at octave slurs here. This is also by Kristen Wolf Jensen. And the tempo here is 66 at the half note, okay? Half note equals this. So I'm gonna play from this angle first so that you could watch the flick action happen. All right, I'll do both lines. Okay, the next exercise is Sweet Betsy from Pike. All right, this is a traditional tune, and you'll have some flicking in here. You'll notice there's two flats in the key signature, B flat and E flat. So we spend a lot of our time under the whisper key register, okay? And then we go up to flick on the B flats above the staff as well as the A. So when we're playing this, I want you to really watch here, flicking from the B flat to the A, okay? Repeated notes need to be flicked every time. Okay, so if I'm playing B flats here, or A, and your job is to try to coordinate that exactly when you flick with when you tongue, okay? So quarter note at this tempo, there's a breath mark written halfway through the first line. You should breathe in almost the exact same place in the second line in between the F and the low B flat at the mezzo piano. Okay, I'll give you one, two, three, one, bum, bum, okay, there we go, one, two, three.